Mr. Sandhu, Deputy National Security Advisor, and my fellow panelists, Dr. Gupta and, uh, and friends in the audience. Uh, <clears throat> I would like to thank uh, ITSA and particularly Dr. Arvind Gupta for inviting me and giving opportunity to share our views from the country point of view with this uh, selected and august audience there. As Mr. Sandhu has set the tone in the area of cyberspace that what expansion has happened in Asia, the future expansion is also likely to happen uh, more in Asia than any other part of the world, including the, the South Africa, Asia and South Africa, they are going to be the major growth region when you talk about internet or we talk about cyber infrastructure. I've just tried to present a a holistic picture uh, in a simpler manner of the what the cyber structure look like architecture in various parts of the world. Architecture is more or less same, but is a complexity which is different from different regions and different countries there. You have the all submarine cables which are taking the traffic outside the country, fiber optics which are taking within the country. You have the mail servers, data centers, and all e-governance activities or citizen-centric services there, mobile telephone, ISPs, all kind of infrastructure is there. And in between the, the last couple of years, the CII is also adding little more uh, to the cyberspace because of its connectivity the, on the internet there. This whole cyberspace, though I tried to present in a simpler manner, but it is getting more and more complex there. Any device you come today, is all have a mobile is a interface there and it, it has a mobility there so they all become part of the cyberspace we used to talk about information technology and now we have moved towards a cyberspace that kind of a structure which we are moving in. new softwares are being added new devices are being added and as and when the new software or hardware is added there uh, it brings its own issues there in terms of vulnerability because there is no software, there is no hardware in the world which is created, which does, which is perfect from the day one. And as a result, the whole cyberspace, what vulnerability comes where that becomes an issue. You know, all the internet was uh, was an open platform there. It was not created keeping the security in the mind there. So you bring in device, you bring in equipment, you bring your system and connect on the internet and start moving from one place to another place or communication from one place to another place. So as a result, any software which comes over there, where it will produce the, where it will induce the vulnerability, it becomes difficult to guess at any point of a time. Now we have a world of social media from 1994. We have a very complex world of social media. The large number of social media is happening there. And today news was there, the WhatsApp is being taken over by the Facebook. That's what it came on, came on today in the media there. So the positions are being um, strengthening, con getting consolidated. And you, if you look at this, we, though we see there are few social media sites like Twitter or YouTube or Facebook or something like that, but actually it's a very complex kind of a system, the whole kind of a spectrum of the social media sites are there. You look at there is a social media site for entertainment, there is a social media site for education, there is a social media site for medical area there. So whole spectrum of them, I mean, and we may not be dealing with all of them, but specialists who deals with those, who needs those social media sites, they all deal with this. Among all this in cyberspace, the another fact is emerging, the mobile is becoming a uniform interface. Whether it's a talk about social media or search engines over there or any kind of IT services want to access it, the whole mobile is becoming a central part of the entire activity. We want to have a single device, we want to have a mobile device so that we can access, post information, write information at any point in time, anywhere, anytime. This is also international uh, study that the smartphone which are coming up and the percentage worldwide is almost 61% smartphones are there. The percentage in India is, is, uh, is much lesser. 61% of the smartphones which are 
which which are introduced in the market or which are with the customers or subscriber they have the social media interface over there they come back with the facebook or twitter or youtube all those activity and not only they they all come back with the locational services also there you start from home they start telling you you are left home you are in a car or uh, they tell you where all you have how much distance you have these features are becoming a, a part in the mobile phone and easily available to every customer not only every customer those things are available to god knows all where all it is available i mean apart from you many other places this is well known now as i said each of the device each of the software has its own characteristics brings down the brings the vulnerability introduce vulnerability in the entire cyber space there at one point of time about a decade ago we had only this kind of a virus kind of a problem simple virus in the ms dos used to be there but today that aspect has become much more complicated and much more complex there we have a now we don't call a virus also we call a malware but what is happening that the entire issues are being observed from the different layers on the cyber infrastructure physical infrastructure application layer system layer all everything network layer everywhere the problems are being observed they are percolated there in fact the current trend is that the vulnerabilities and the malicious activities are making more predominant thing when you talk about the application layer because that is where a common man interacts that is where everyone interacts and it carries forward there the other table if you see the different kind of a malware different kinds of threats as a result of the small vulnerability in the hardware and software give rise to large number of uh, threats there and these are the threats which are common across the asian countries there not only these are similar things are being observed worldwide also whether it's identity theft or a introduction of malware there or a distributed denial of service attack on the infrastructure the making the entire system inaccessible to any to anyone in the country or outside the country everything is going up mail accounts are being hacked the malware the sophisticated software codes are being hidden in the inside the uh, websites or inside the portal so that the it notices what activity you are doing it and transfer somewhere else the credit cards are stolen their numbers are different so all kind of a threats is going up and the worldwide trend is is going up of course the proliferation of the it is also increasing there as a result of this the vulnerabilities are also increasing there it's maybe due to many other many other factor also that we don't with the many of the systems have a older version of the software which are become more vulnerable but net result is that the threat model is is changing paradigm is shift there is a paradigm shift in the threat assessment there in the threat uh, system there and everything is increasing these are the kind of a targeted attacks we see in india and these are common across the asian countries also there we have a espionage kind of activity there is a shortage of engineering issues there and this becomes more predominant at the time of some festival or some uh, such national day or other thing spoofed or compromised systems and mail uh, mails happened there then the vulnerabilities in the software any office software which comes up or pdf we are there it they hide the malware so they hide the system, the uh, problems there then we have the uh, antivirus which we have is a poor detection because of the new and new malware are coming up at one point of a time the antivirus vendors were in were updating our systems their antivirus systems maybe once in a day today the updation from the antivirus vendor is number of times there almost 10 to 12000 a uh, new kind of a malware spyware or bomb are detected are being introduced in the in the cyber space from different different places there uh then we have the stealth channel this is very important there today today we have a, a stealth channel where the hidden servers are there and they try to post information hiding by themselves they will 
they will hide their IP address, they hide their location, hide their origination, they try to post information from, uh, from anywhere in the part of the world to any part of the world. That has become a real issue, that how to detect that, and they keep on changing there. Then you have the this resilient command and control server, which controls those hidden servers. The cyber crimes which we observe, they are hacking, as I mentioned, hacktivism there. Anonymous attacks which are happening, they, the hackers around a region or around the world, they come together and they start attacking the systems in any of the country there. Uh, they use the uh, hidden channels, hidden communication uh, channels there, and they try to attack the ATM frauds. The, the recent case, uh, recent means the last, uh, I would say, about a year ago case there, where the $45 million was withdrawn in a couple of hours' time from 22 countries simultaneously in a couple of hours there. That is the ATM case. The frauds were there in terms of credit cards, web defacement, proxy things, where they, they try to hide by themselves, denial of service attacks, distributed denial of service attack, and then the data theft and data manipulation. These kind of... A, these kind of a, uh, uh, cyber crimes are happening. Today it is very difficult to distinguish between the cyber crime and, and, and the cyber security because the, the breach in security gives rise to the cyber crimes here. So they need to be handled together. I think LEAs or any other cyber security agency cannot deal it separately. Now in this entire world of the fast changing scenario both in terms of technological innovations and in terms of the issues which are coming up there, there are the different kind of a players there. In the physical world you have a different players, in the cyberspace the, the players are much more complex and their, their connectivity among themselves is, is very good. We have a state actors, we have the non-state actors, we have a corporates and terrorists. In fact, whatever my experience, little experience is that the, the first actor, state actor, works in conjunction with the other state actors. In fact, most of the time, they don't operate directly, they operate the rest of the three actors. And we have large number of cases before us there. Then there are challenges. We have the challenges of the country of origin. As I said, many things are hidden. This is a virtual model and the anonymous space there. Anybody can write email, anybody can write blog, anybody can send any attacks from any origin hiding his, his or her own names there. So there are issues of the how to find country of origin. There is an issue where the servers are hosted, from where the attacks are happening there. Most of the time we say attack is coming from region A or country A or country B there. But in fact, we don't have the data, we can't track, track out uh, from where actually the attack is coming there. It's based on the fingerprints or based on the signature thing, we try to locate that these attacks are coming from that region there, but with no certainty. Then issues of encryption there. Every service is becoming the encrypted services there. Any social media site, you find the entire origin of the uh, X person who accesses the system, uh, the social media site is totally hidden there because encrypted there. Then the issues of backdoors are there. These are the challenge and it, these are all dynamic there. The encryption keys keeps on changing, is a session to session. Backdrop, the much, the, every time you log in, you download the different backdrop and it comes on sits inside the system there. And this challenges Apart from that, there are certain legal challenges which makes the first three challenges more difficult. Enforcement issue, because of the different jurisdiction, different boundaries, as the, uh, uh, Mr. Sandhu said, how do we enforce it? My jurisdiction there, that becomes the issue. There is no uniform law which operates in this area in the country. And then the issue is the cooperation among members there. This cooperation is discussed at various forum number of times over there, but still, we haven't come to is a mechanism or an understanding where we say that, yes, we will cooperate. These se sector requires a different kind of a cooperation. So what are the concerns today after having seen? What are the concerns? The concern is very clear. The use of technology is proliferating. Every sector cannot be handled without, every sector is finding use of technology. 
it has become an integral part of any sector, be it economical, be it academics, or be it social, or our day-to-day -day life there. There are technological processes there. The countries are dominating in terms of technology. Just imagine today that if we have a IPv4 connectivity, we are using it. Tomorrow, somebody decides from tomorrow onward, we'll have a IPv6. Some countries who have a dominant role in the technology, they decide we have a IPv6. How, to, how we'll handle the entire system, it becomes a different kind of economic uh, 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 pitfall to many of the countries there. Then there are issues of the manipulation of information there. You have a large number of root servers, large number of servers through which the system passes through. Uh, once I, we can have a control only on the system which we have in our boundary, but in internet, is a networks of networks. It passes through many gateways and many systems, many routers there. How do we handle the issues of data manipulation? When we say data manipulation, it talks about the d DNS also, where it resolves there. If I have to put a dot .com kind of a website there, those the servers may be hosted in India, but resolution is happening somewhere else. And we really don't know where the resolution is happening. Uh, then there is a issue of consideration of resources in one country or group of country or one region. That's an issue which is important there. And then the issues of global unbalanced growth in terms of internet. As Mr. Sandhu has said, the, the, though the IT or the internet is proliferating and the penetration is increasing in Asia and it will, this is a region which is, has a good scope and potential area there, but still Within Asia itself, there are large number of, uh, there, there is a glaring unbalanced uh, growth within the country, within, within the region. This is kind of a thing which the India is trying to do that and these are the issues which are applicable all across the world. The whole issue of cyber security give rise to a force multiplier effect there. It gives rise to the issue of law legislation, it gives rise to the issue of jurisdiction and therefore law comes up there. It gives rise to the issue of testing the testing infrastructure, keeping my system safe, rise to that. This gives rise issue of capacity development, we have to train the people. Every technology comes with a new features, with a new kind of a, a operation systems there. So we need to, every time a new technology comes up, we need to train people there. The, and, and these are all uh, a complex uh, dynamic issues there. So there is an issue of capacity development there. Then there are issues of implementing best practices there, international cooperation. So it's a kind of a its own big ecosystem there, though India is also trying to handle these issues in a different variety of manner. And we have the legislation, we have the uh, entire system plan there, which we are trying to work. But then it's a complex issue. It's had its own ecosystem. It drives its own issues there. And one cannot really say that any point of a time, if we implement this thing, we are safe or we no problems will come up there. These all dynamic kind of a systems. Having provided the details there, having discussed the detail there, what do we need there? The whole expansion is in this part of the world, that is in Asia. There are a lot of similarities among the Asias in terms of cultural aspects there. The trade trade is increasing among the Asian countries there. Similar kind of a security breaches are happening there. So what do we need? How to handle it? Because we can't say that we can't we will not use information technology there. We have to use cyberspace will get more and more complex, lot more innovations are coming up, will come. But what we need to do if we have to really handle it there. We need a cooperation among each country and a cooperation also in a real term. For this purpose, we need to sit down and see what we evolve a fast mechanism to for sharing information relating to incidents there. How do we see where the hidden servers are there so that we can plug it, we can reduce our cyber crimes there. We need to handle, we need to fast mechanism to sharing information to mitigate those incidences there. That's what we need to do that. Then the, we need to work together for the threat assessment. Though there is a, a there is a uh, organization for the Asia Pacific Search, they also try to do the cyber drills. Uh, 
twice in a year but that that but we need to evolve a mechanism so that we create a threat mechanism which is specific to the asian countries and we try to share those threat mechanisms and then the issue of capacity development though india is also proliferating in terms of users of it in the critical but we are progressing but the some many of the countries in asia they are far more advanced in in this regard than the india there so we need to have a a kind of a cooperation to share each other experience to share the uh, the kind of a threat assessment or kind of a sharing of the information and this will only bring us a little more will be more value to the society more more uh, confidence society for penetrating using cyberspace thank you very much